Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Minecraft Dungeon Dragons and Space Shuttles. Or rather in this particular case it's more um, Lawrence doesn't play um, because I wasn't actually in the stream last night so um, because I was away on holiday but I'm back now again and I'm making a summary video only this is going to be more of a summary video of what everyone else has done. And as you can see from up here on my perch on the on the, on the mountainside uh, quite a bit of building and, and stuff has been done while I was away. They've been They've been busy. So down there, um, Peter started creating a greenhouse area for all the crops because he got fed up of people landing in, it, landing in amongst them when they flew in by slime sling and damaging his crops. So he's put a glass roof over the whole area. That's quite um, quite impressive. Um, Mike has built this sort of multi-story garage thing over here. So let's go and have a look at that, find out what that's all about. Now I believe he's using this for um, growing crops in sort of some way, shape or form inside as well. Um, but at the moment, it's also quite a... Oh, I've fallen off. <laughs> yeah, so in here, we've got lots of lots of cotton growing. Um, and I assume these pumpkins here are providing light because they're essentially jack-o'-lanterns. So that'll, that'll keep that, those growing. And then there's another floor of them up here. Ooh, and then if we go up even all the way onto the top, back to where I was a minute ago until I fell off. Yes, yeah, so we can consider this to be a sort of a lookout point as well. So this is an area for growing lots and lots of... Um, Lots and lots of cotton, and I think that's some sort of well system in the middle there. Either that, um, is it dropping water down, or is it? Um, oh no, no, I, I see. Each each floor has has one of those sort of systems in the has a, has a a block of water in the middle, and that's hydrating the whole area so that all the cotton grows. Very nice. Then out here we've still got the um, the smeltery area. We've got the the big smeltery here, which we can we can chuck all, all the um, the ore in that we we find, and then turn that into metals. And over here, as you can see, it's been going really well. We've got loads and loads of different types of metals. There's some elementium, steel, steel, nickel, silver, ooh, lots and lots of different things, and a, and a fair chunk of iron as well, and, and and some bricks. So yeah, they've been busy there. This is apparently a door. And I had a quick look in here earlier, and it turns out this appears to be some sort of shaft disappearing down into the bowels of the earth, and it gets dark and dangerous. But there's also a, um, somewhere around here, there was a supply of lava, and I can't find it now. But, um, yeah, there was there was a cave with, with a, um, a, a, lots and lots of lava available in it, which I assume is a, um, an area that's there to allow the, um, the smeltery to be refueled. Oh, maybe it's over here. Yes, here we go. Here's the lava, and as you can see, there's a couple of ch couple of chunks of it missing. So I assume this this is the area that is being used to fuel the um, fuel the smeltery. So every so often, someone will come running in here, grab some, and, and go back out again to, uh, to to refuel it. And out of interest of tidiness, I'll close the door as well. So I mentioned Pete's greenhouse over here. This is as you as you can see, we've got a lovely um, area. Of, oop, it's all, all all glassed in nicely now, so you can so all the crops are safe from uh, people flying in just as I did there. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a door around the other side. Let's go and investigate. There's also been quite a lot of prettifying being done. Yes, yeah, so we've got these hedges and benches and things put in to just to, to brighten the place up a bit and make it look a bit more uh, a bit more lived in and a bit more deliberate. But then, ooh, <laughs> they've, been put, they've even been put across in front of the doorway. So I guess I, I guess I won't be going in there. But you can see inside, there's all of the all the crops growing very nicely, and that means they can go that uh, Pete can go in there and harvest them whenever we need a bit more food, and then restock the kitchen. Speaking of Pete, there he is. So we've got the uh, the storage system is, is is carrying on more or less as it did before. We've got still got the uh, the same chests. Only big real big difference here is we've now got a personal chest each for ch ch chucking miscellaneous rubbish in that we we're pretty sure we're going to need. And Pete's been out collecting some flowers for me because I was having I was having some problems with these earlier. Um, and I'll show you what's what's been going on there. And in fact, put all of these away where they belong. So inside my um, my wizard dungeon area over here. I've got. I've been uh, trying to re trying to organise these um, flower these flower drawers a bit more neatly. And the problem has been that it seems as a, there's a bug in Minecraft that means, or at least in the mod pack, that means when you try if if a um, if a drawer has been programmed with a thing. So if we look at look at these drawers here. Um, Right, so looking at this drawer down here, the server has finally caught up now. You can see it's got lots of the, um, on the on the left hand side there, it shows what's actually in the drawer. And we've got lots of the blue petals, the light blue petals, uh, that's those ones, and the cyan petals. But there's also a cyan flower locked to that one. And you can't actually get rid of that lock without putting one in and taking it back out again. Which is really annoying, um, because I don't have any of those and I haven't been able to find any. But I'm gradually working towards having all of the different petals and flower types in here, all of the different petal types stored here, and then not keeping the flowers around because you don't need them. The problem is we've got the brown one there and the green one having, having the same problem. Peter's been off and found me a, gray, a light grey flower, that's that one, and that isn't, if you look, 
here that isn't 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 any of the problem ones but it's also not in here here we've only got white gray and black we don't have light gray <clears throat> so in the spirit of completeness let's put the light gray in there take all the petals from it and then put them in there like that so now this one's got all four of those types of petals in it and gradually the idea is that we'll build up all of the different ones in all of the different in all of these drawers down here and and over time I can as it, once again I can take the purple flower turn it into purple petals and put those in in there that looks like a good place and so now in here we've got purple magenta and pink and at some point I'll get red in there as well once that one has been dealt with um, but at the moment there's a, there's a slight problem there so I'm going to chuck the uh, the extra flowers in here and deal with them some other time because you don't want to watch me stripping petals off flowers all, uh, all, all video other than that, I've not done a great deal down here. I've extended this, um, these blood tanks uh, down here, so now there's, now there's a bit more room. Because I've noticed people have been out doing a lot of combat recently, so they've been bringing back a lot of supplies for my uh, blood magics. Um, and these tanks were getting very, very full. So I've stuck an extra couple in. That's given me now up to 96,000, uh, sorry, 96 buckets, of which we've got 57 buckets worth in there. So it's getting quite full. It's still fairly full, but there's a bit more room in there still. And somebody, while I've not been, not while I wasn't watching, has been down here and replaced all of this, um, the, the dirt along here with wood, wood panelling, which looks very nice. They probably have done it a bit higher up as well, but I guess maybe that would have encroached on the outside world out here, and um, and we can't have that. So that's been, yeah, that's been a um, a major a major improvement there. And as you can see, there's still a bit of room in this tank now to put some more in, but it was getting pretty full beforehand. Close that. The other big thing that's been happening recently is Al has been working hard on the barracks building up here and he's he's our um, chief architect so he's going in and trying to make things look pretty rather than just sort of, whereas I just went down there I dug a hole and put a load of machines along the along the wall Al has been coming in here and he's been putting he's been sort of decorating the floor apparently with someone some disembodied head here but also generally along here we've got we've got various bits of carpet in we've got um yeah, carpet, carpet block, or wool, wool blocks, carpet tiles. Um, apparently, oak leaf carpet, which seems a little bit weird, but sure, I'm sure he had his reasons for that. <clears throat> and he's been going around generally decorating everywhere with um, with various types of wood, various types of wool blocks, and and as I said, and and the carpets as well. And I assume next week he's going to come back and actually finish this off, put finish up, block up these gaps, maybe even put a roof on the building if we're really lucky. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out next time. But he's been yeah, this has been obviously been a, a whole evening's worth of work for him. So he's been kept him very busy and out of trouble. I think that's most of what's been done. Let me can, let me uh, let me check the list on the on the Discord server. <laughs> oh yeah, there's been a lot of dying going on. Um, I think some of this has been sort of some of it has been through foolishness. Pete seems to have been throwing himself into lava quite a bit. Uh, some of it's through sort of maliciousness because um, people have been pushing Pete into the lava quite a bit. But over here, I discovered as well there is oops, keep the bounce going. Over here we have a cobblestone generator. Um, it says, please do not burn to death in the lava. And there's warning around the back because it's bad for the cobblestone apparently. I guess you get impurities in it and that's just a bit gross. So the idea of the uh, cobblestone generator is you mine up the... Um, the cobblestone from there and then the, the lava and then the water pours across and cools enough of the lava to make some more cobblestone and you can just keep doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this until you've got enough until you've got as much as you want and it all falls into this chest down here i believe so we've got nine in there from my all my hard work then so if you want an enormous quantity of cobblestone that's going to be a very very slow process we'll, we will hopefully be um, automating that later but we shall see how that goes <laughs> Tristan also did quite a lot of mining and bring, and apparently he he found he uh, mined up some roosters, which is a, a bit a little bit odd. I wasn't aware I wasn't aware that chickens were subterranean creatures, but apparently that's what he did, and he brought them back. And so um, we've now got a massive redesign of the um, of the animal pen area. So as you can see, we've got the cows in this one here, just sort of milling around and mooing as as they do. And we've and the hay bales have all been put under shelter. Now I don't know whether that's vital and compulsory or whether it's just sort of just looks nice but it's been done it's certainly it's been done anyway then over here we've got donkey pig some chickens um another pig is that a horse yes i think pretty sure it's a horse um and again we, they're all sort of nicely penned in so they hopefully can't escape and they've got their food supplies held underneath here and i assume this is some sort of chicken coop oops I've fallen in i hope i don't get savaged by a pig or something i guess this is meant to be a chicken coop because i don't think much else will fit in there although the pigs might um but maybe they'll maybe they'll hide in there and lay eggs. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how half this stuff works. Let's close that before the animals escape and Pete has a panic. 
And there's some more growing going on over here. Oh, inf growing inferium plants over here, apparently. That's interesting. Um, I, I have no idea what that's all about. And then in here, the, we still have the kitchen. The kitchen is now attached to the uh, the greenhouses, apparently. Um, but exactly what's going I don't think anything else has changed in here, apart from it all becoming very, very enclosed. So, come back out. Trap Tristan inside there. And I think that's pretty much everything. Um... So, but yeah, but I, mean, I haven't got a huge amount, as I say, I haven't got a huge amount to report on personally because I wasn't here. So there's only, there's only so much I can do when I've not been here. But things are coming along quite nicely. We've got the um, the flowers are, um, the flower collection is coming together. And so that means that at some point I'll be able to do more flower based magic as well as the blood stuff. So light magic and dark magic and it's a, a nice balance between the two. And uh, hopefully at some point we'll get, we'll get more, these buildings will gradually get, um, gradually spread out get more and more of them growing up maybe i'll have a wizard's tower over there or maybe it'll be up there on top of that i don't know but some of the light magic stuff requires you to be high up which is why a tower seems like a good idea for that so don't forget to come along on um it'll be monday evening for the next stream and um, we'll be playing it from 7 30 uk time as always and um see we'll see we'll see what gets done I and mean, um we've got the we've got the quest book of course in here so we can have a look in here we, we've got tier zero which is basically oh it's practically all done now there's a few in here that i need to claim but I'll, when i do that i'm going to end up spraying stuff all over the place so i'll try and get my inventory sorted out at some point and dealt with deal with all of that um and then we've got the the tier one quest line that's 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 this is the progress they made while i was away because this is barely barely started when i was uh, when i was last around and then of course there are all the other the other quest lines whether it's kitchen workshop which there's lots been done in there blacksmith workshop that's not gone quite as far smeltery there's a lot of stuff that's been done and a lot of things to pick up so there's lots and lots of things for me to for me to collect here lots 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 and lots to do and so we'll we'll see we'll see where I go next time I didn't notice the next thing I need to do for the for the blood magic or the will magic is to make a blood altar and that was looking tricky because it requires the um, the demon plates but i've noticed there are a few of those around in storage now which i believe came out of loot bag so if nobody else minds then maybe i'll make one of those with all the demon plates if nobody's got other plans for them alternatively i can carry on along here and do that iron iron promise acceptor with the uh, the block of by um infusing a block of iron with with blood as i was talking about in the last episode or i can mess around with all the other things around here so there's plenty to do plenty to do and if we look in the white magic um actually there's mystical ag agriculture i've been doing i think to an extent um I can start making mystical feathers crafting seeds inferium seeds and so on Oop, that wasn't the button i meant to press and then there's also the white magic that's this one with all the flowers floral fertilizer i can make a vine ball uh, made the pure daisy in the living rock i could go on and make a wand now uh, make the magic wand of the forest find out what that does so there's lots and lots of things in here i can uh, play around with and um and we'll see where that goes should be interesting to see um there'll also be the factorio streams every wednesday those are carrying on as normal uh factorio space exploration that's my uh, big popular run and everywhere uh seem to get quite a lot of people along to that so again please come along to sort of watch that and then these videos at the weekend as well to sort of to um to to, to uh to give everyone a bit of a catch up what's going to happen in the next week so as always thank you for watching hope to see you in the next episode and the next videos and the streams and 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 everything else that goes on on this channel thanks for watching i'll see you then